Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're gonna to be talking about the functions file in your theme. Now, this functions file is not just going to be sort of a one video and done thing, and I'm not necessarily going to do a long series on it. However, it's going to come up again and again because the functions file is really where you add a lot of custom functionality to your theme. Now, that doesn't mean you would add all of your custom functionality to your theme. In fact, uh, there is a little bit of thinking whether or not your custom functionality belongs in a plugin or if it belongs in your functions file. Uh, well, it really has to do with what your custom functionality is doing. If you plan on reusing it through multiple themes, uh, then it's going to be better off in a plugin because this functions file is going to be just the specific theme, right? So when you do, you know, move on to a different theme, this functions file does not come with it. Uh, it's part of your theme specifically. And what kind of cool things can it do and might, what might you be using it for most often? Well, uh, you can enqueue scripts with it so you can add like JavaScript or CSS to your site, which is something that we're going to be doing in this video just to give you a basic uh, introduction to functions. Uh, you can register new widget areas. You can create new image styles that you can then use within your site, like predefined image sizes. Um, you can create custom post types. There's all sorts of stuff. Um, in fact, there's, uh, it's a very powerful, um, you know, it's a very powerful function or file that we're going to be spending a lot of time in. So what's important to know about this functions file is it basically is going to get run uh, when WordPress is uh, loading, right? So this file is going to get run and anything that you are doing maybe multiple times throughout your site can actually be put into a function within this file and then you could always just call that function because that function is going to be loaded. So if that is a little cloudy, that's totally understandable because once we get into it, you're going to see a bunch of cool stuff that you can do with your functions file. So what we first need to do is actually create it. And I'm going to right click on my child theme folder and click new file. And I'm gonna save this as uh, functions.php. And now don't let PHP scare you because we're gonna talk exactly about what we're doing. Okay, so in here, uh, sorry, I have this other page open. Um, the first thing we need to do is we need to open up this this PHP file with a PHP tag. So that is a less than sign, a question mark, and then PHP. Now we can jump down a couple of lines here. Now, if we take a look at the functions file in our parent theme, which is 2014, you're gonna see it's got a lot of stuff in it, but it could teach us some lessons, right? So we have this big comment here, and in fact, you can give a comment describing yours as well. Um, however, you don't necessarily need to. And uh, there's a lot of stuff. We have some functions that are adding some, some functionality to our site. Um, we have our widget areas that are being added. In fact, you've seen these before. Um, primary sidebar, content sidebar, and footer widget area. Those names should look familiar from when we were going over the widgets. And we'll keep scrolling down. Okay, and so basically there's a lot of functions that are being run here, and these are all doing uh, different things to extend the functionality of our site. It's worth applying through this just to sort of read the comments, even if you don't necessarily understand what's going on. But we'll be doing all this and more, and you'll be able to completely understand what's going on. So from here, we have our functions file, right? We've opened our PHP tag. Now, if you'll notice the other WordPress file didn't close the PHP tag, I think that's just a WordPress thing. Uh, typically, you'd close your PHP tags with another question mark and then a greater than, uh, but for this file, we're not. Okay, so this has been an introduction to functions.php. And the next video is going to pick up exactly where we left off here. And we're gonna be writing our very first function and writing our very first hook. And we're gonna be enqueuing a script. 
So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. So thanks for watching and we'll see you really quick right in the next one.